Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here today going to work on this Artist Delight journal a little bit. I had a couple of ideas for a couple of more pockets, so going to get that done. Um, let's say hi and hugs to Frida, Josette, Lorette, and Beverly. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Gosh, I had to turn on my heater there. It's a little chilly. Okay, well, we've got about six decorations in the front, decorated pages. And um, I've only got about four in the back of this signature. So I'm going to even that out a bit with a couple more pockets in the back. And then... Um, yeah, and then we will start getting things stuffed, stuff in all the pockets. I'm not sure where this one's going to go exactly, but let's see. Looks like we have some space on the red page. That looks kind of nice. Or the green page. Hmm. I might go with the red page. Let's grab the book weight here. Okay, so here's my cockamamie idea. Is I wanted to make a black background and kind of put these on kind of like my um, mosaic collage. And, but, yeah, so that's my idea. I think the, the widest I can make it is you know a little bit under six inches so i'm gonna do that and then i'm not quite sure how to shape this pocket to be honest to make these fit but i'll give it i'm gonna give it the old college try so let's see if we go if we went like that I was kind of thinking a slanty pocket, so I'm kind of thinking maybe of going up like this and then over. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just, let's go for it, shall we? I don't know exactly what I'm doing here, but... Um, First of all, I want to want to go across to um, the edge of that, like right about here, and then go like that-ish. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I'm just making this up as I go. I just had the idea of putting these on black and what I need is what I need is a pocket. So okay, well let's see. Let's see how we turn out here. Okay, now, hope it's going to fit here. The way it is, we got to go right to the edge, though. Right to the edge of the paper. But it's kind of cool, huh? Okay, so let's, let's get these on there. Whew, I'm so chilly. Why is my, oh, I have to plug it in. Excuse me. I'm like, why am I so cold? I just turned on the heater. Yeah, you did, but you forgot to plug it in. I, uh, I'm just going to grab this magazine page here to glue on. Uh, did you notice my new mat? My new mat as of the first of the year. So happy. I'll tell you, it doesn't take much to make this kid happy. Okay, I think that might be kind of cute. Okay, Whew. warm up the hands so I can glue. Gosh. So I hope you're all doing well. 
so funny. I went to look and see which day I was filming for because, you know, as usual, I'm, I'm ahead of the game, which is how I like to be. Um, and when I saw it was Tuesday, I was like, what did I film for Monday? I have no idea. I'll be as surprised as you when it, <laughs> when it loads on. Oh, so yeah, so I'm filming this on a Monday and tomorrow we go to Bozeman for the girls basketball and the weather's supposed to be good. So yay for that. Yeah. So, you know, getting back to normal after the holidays. is good. I've always loved the feeling of putting all the Christmas decorations away. I love love putting them up too, but I love putting them away and having everything seem more clean and put together. I don't know. Sorry, I'm moving things with my shirt here. Okay. By golly, I think I might have might have done it. Okay, so let's let's put glue on this and get it down on the page. And then I had another harebrained idea for another pocket, so we'll have to see how that works out. Oh gosh. Um yeah, I need this right to the edge. Like so. Okay. Whew! I did it. I did it. We did it. It's helped me do it. Okay. Yay. Okay, so there's one more pocket to put something in. Okay. And then... So I'm just going to see where I'm going to want this. So there's something there. Now there's something there. Got an empty page here. Let's see what we have going this way. Let's see. I don't have anything there. I think I might put something on the back page. Okay. So here, here was my thought. Um, looking at the scrap of paper what I was thinking is this page here I think I might fussy cut out these um, suitcases put them on as a side tuck that's what I'm thinking I'll do okay so let's do that So I'm just going to cut it right fairly close to the suitcases and then and then cut those out. I think they will fit. Whew, just barely. Yeah, they'll fit, but just barely. <laughs> okay, let's cut those out. Let's see. First, we're going to cut this. That's fun. That could be that could be a cute little tag, couldn't it? We're going to get to that cuz we've got to start thinking about filling up all of the um filling up all of the pockets and stuff, but Yeah, so I was thinking about what 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 did I want to do today? And I was like, Gail, you need to finish your little artist journal because that's what we're all about this year is finishing. So I was like, there was a few things making me go squirrel. And I was like, nope, 
get her done and then you can do the other things. So I share that in an effort to encourage you to. Because <laughs> if I would hop off to something else, then this would be sitting in my project tray again and that is not going to happen. Not on my watch. Okay, well that's fun. I think I'll um, I'll straighten that off though, and then it can be um, part of a cluster at some point. Okay. My husband just finished walking on the treadmill. It's only about 24 out there, so it is cold today. The sun is shining, so it doesn't seem as cold, but it's still cold. I love this bit of paper, and so I'm excited to use some of it. There. Okay, so... My thought was just to ink them up a bit and then pop them on the side here. Hmm, maybe they need to be a belly band. Do I already have a belly band? Oh, I have a belly band here. Two pages with a belly band. Oh, well, that's different because it's got a pocket with it. I don't think I did just a regular belly band in here. I don't think I did. Okay, cool. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, we're just going to pop that in the middle and then we can slide something under it. Isn't that fun? That's yay. Okay, I was like, what am I going to do for pockets? I was thinking of getting into my idea cupboard, but then that felt like starting something else because you know I couldn't make just one I'd have to I'd have to be mass making them and whatever so thought nope I, I knew I wanted to use more of the digital kit and more of the paper so this worked out just fine okay let's just get our little glue on there oh I'm so nervous about getting glue on my mat. I don't want to. I don't like it when it starts to feel, feel all lumpy bumpy. And I scrub it, but it still begins to feel lumpy bumpy. So I have my old one over in my area where I do my packaging for Etsy orders and stuff. And what I thought is I'll keep that one over there. And it's going to be my one that I can take to my retreats. Because especially the retreat, the retreat house in Anaconda has craft mats. But the retreat house here is a quilt retreat place. So it's got cutting mats on the cutting tables, but it doesn't have mats at each spot so i just thought i might like that okay cool so we are to kind of filling up some pockets i think oh yeah and i have pockets in the front and back too so that's great so what do we have already we have not a lot to be honest we've got a one tag there got this tag I do love that tag it's it's got um, uh, oh bead gel on it it's pretty cool oh we've got this and we've got a couple big painty papers okay so something could go in here one of these three could go in here let's just see what she looks like who that brightens that up doesn't it okay so there we go there 
kind of going backwards, but that's okay. These are too big for these, I think. Oh, that one's at the top anyhow. That might be fun. Yeah, that's cool. Should we put some paper or something in here? I think we should. Um. Oh, goodness. It's just working with this. I was just working with this, um, doing my Patreon video. And I'm thinking I have some pages that might work. Oh, those are the same size. <laughs> okay. What about this one? I was looking for something that would be about the right width, and that looks like it might be pretty close. Let's see. Oh, it just could use a little sliver taken off just to make it have an easy in and out. There we go. Okay. I think I might just fold this in fourth. Maybe a little bit bigger than that. Something like that. And then we've got more journaling space. Yes, that's a good idea. Okay, now you can go in there. Kind of like that jaggedy edge on there too. Okay. Now we need something to go, we've got, um, we've got like a pocket, a pocket here, like that, and then it's a belly band as well, right? Yeah. Okay, so, I don't, it's too big, okay. Let's do maybe one of the journal cards from the kit. I didn't get this. Yeah, I think that'll work. I didn't get this all cut out this weekend. To be honest, I forgot about it. Um, what was I doing this weekend? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot, but <laughs> I just forgot to cut these out but we will because I would like to use as many or you know as many as possible or all if I could now I am going to want to distress the back because it's just white cardstock and I can't do it can't do it so I didn't know if this was going to take us the whole hour or if we would have some time to do something else in the finish it box really anxious to get that off my floor because I want to rearrange my um, carts because there's a few things I can't get to that I need to get to oh yeah that's nice that's nice now would I don't know if one of these would fit in, but I'm gonna cut out the blue one and see if maybe we're lucky enough that that would fit into the pocket. Then there's lots of journaling space on that page. So once again, this um, Artist Delight kit, uh, digital kit is from ePapery. I'll have them linked in the description box, but just FYI. And, oh, 
I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Um, and then the rest, the, like, the Stamperia paper and other stuff came from a mixed media Minnesota kit. Okay, let's just see if that's going to fit. I might as well ink it up because we'll put it somewhere. Yes, it is. Yay. Okay, cool. So it's kind of fun to have a little bit of original stuff that I've done along with the kit and the scrapbooking paper. Okay, I think I might want to slide that over a little bit. There we go. Okay, cool. Now, what's next? We're kind of going back to front, aren't we? Oh, we need tags for in these. I only have one of the one of the tag tags left. Ooh, that would be cool. Okay. I think these tags would be too big. Yeah, I think they're a bit big. Okay, so I need one more tag, and it needs to be fairly small. Let me look in my, my to-do box and see. You know what I have? I have these Bloom and Heather design ones, and I'm wondering about a pink one. Yeah. I might put, I might switch those around. Can I? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. We might end up decorating that a little bit. Oh, gosh, I have a candle burning. And I think that's what made me sneeze. I think it was just very smelly. <laughs> Um, I wonder, okay, I have an idea for decorating these tags. Yeah, as I said when I started this, I knew it was going to be a little labor intensive because I really didn't have much, a few things that I could use, um, but I, you know, the bright colors and the artist's Theme, I really didn't have too, too much to work with. I knew I was going to have to make stuff as we went. Okay. So let's see. I was going to show you because there's, there's this page of fussy cut items. Right? Yep. Something might be good to put on here. I mean, I could put those two. Let's do it. Maybe I'd want, I might want some um, book page or something, but put this out and see what we think. So, I hope you don't mind watching me do a little fussy cutting here. Since I didn't think about doing these this weekend. What did I do? It's like the weekend. Oh, I had a lot of Etsy orders. I did have that. And then yesterday I did my, my Etsy share. And it was kind of labor intensive. Because there was a lot of updating to do for the sales and stuff. And the month sort of things. Even though, gosh, we're like into the next week, aren't we? 
I just keep filming because I know there'll be days when I can't. And so I just, I just keep going. Um, it's what you do when you post a video every day. Because, you know, not every day is a good filming day. So then, then you wouldn't have one the next day. Okay, so let's see how that's that's kind of fun on there. Um, I do feel like I'd like a little book page. What do we have here? I don't think there's any lack of book pages around here. This one's nice. It's really um, it's really kind of nice and aged. Oh, my nose is tickly. Yep, I think it's that candle. I'm gonna have to blow that out. They bug my husband, so that's why I have it down here in my craft room, is so as not to bug him, but now it's bugging me. It's very lovely, but it's not good if it's making me sneeze. Okay. Every time I move something, I'm knocking papers here and there. Let's see, let's just. Okay, that decorates that up a little bit. Okay. Take care of my shoddy fussy cutting there. Yeah, it was kind of funny to, this past weekend. I just, I just really didn't feel like even fussy cutting. I guess sometimes you just need a break, don't you? So I got a little break. I'm gonna put that one back in there. So that's ready to go. I might have some glue pages somewhere, but I don't know where they're at, so I need to. Okay. You know how I am. I need to take a moment and just get some stuff out of my way. Like I'm done with the black card stock. That's all done. Gosh, I had a weird night last night. I feel like maybe when I went to sleep, I think I went to sleep at about 11 and I feel like I just crashed and burned. But then I woke up at 5.30. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want to be awake at 5.30. And I couldn't go back to sleep. So I was like, okay, well. I must have got all the sleep in that I needed um, early in the earlier in the night, I guess. Okay, that's kind of cute. So that can go down in there. Then what are we gonna do with you? Let's see if there's something else. I was looking at this little frame. It's kind of cool. Where there's this. This, these flowers. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and get them both out and see what we think. Okay. 
frame's too big. I don't know, flowers might be too. We'll just see. Just zip around this real quick. If we have to lop off a leaf, that wouldn't be the worst thing. We watched an interesting um, documentary last night. I wanted to tell you guys about that. It was um, on Prime, and it's called Wildcat. And it's this story, but it's more in documentary form, of a soldier that comes back from Afghanistan. And he ends up going to the Amazon and working for a wildlife rescue. And um, it was it was really it was really good. I won't say too much more. I don't want to ruin it. So, but yeah, it was worth it was worth watching. Shoot, are you gonna be too big? It wouldn't be if we took off that one leaf. Let's take off the leaf. And then let's see if we have some sort of little um, saying or something. Okay, now that'll fit. And in these, we've got little sayings. We could do create art, creativity, hmm. okay, let's get this on there. I don't think I want any book page or anything because I want to be able to see the colors of this. Oops. Don't be ripping it, Gail, once you've gone to all that all that trouble. Okay. I think I want create art. I think these are sticky. Yes, they are. Let's put it like this. Right there. Okay. Oopsie. Okay. Can I stay on there? Yes. Okay. Oh wait, I I have a tuck spot in the back, don't I? So we need something big to tuck. What about this? I, li I like how it's got the purple. Okay. Well, now we're out <laughs> pretty much of anything that I have made, I think. Okay. Oh, then there's this big one. You know what might be nice in that one is we've got some flowers. The one we did the front. Oh, I didn't point out on the front. The uh, new crystal nouveau drops have dried on the poppies, and they're really they're really fun. I'm not sure yet. I might still do something with these flowers, like sort of gild the edges or make them sparkly I don't know I haven't decided that one yet but see I'm thinking these pretty flowers I mean one of these could go in there do I like the white do I like the colored I think I like the colored 
and I think I'm gonna cut it down to the frame. Like so. Some good little pieces for collages. So we'll put that in there. I don't know, maybe we need to put a tag in there too, but gotta start somewhere. You know what, that needs to come off too. These are cool on the back, aren't they? Looks like um, a burlap or something. Okay, so that's nice. Then I'm wondering about one of the tags. Where'd my big tags go? There they are. Is there one that would go? I don't know if the red one, if that feels like too much red, and I don't really like the purple one. About one of these tags. I'm gonna cut this one out. This really is a gorgeous kit. Aaron, it's lovely. And it goes perfectly with this Stamperia paper. Okay. That. You could definitely put a focal point of some sort on that if you wanted. Right, let's look at the chipboard ones over here. See if there's something that. Yep, that was tough. <laughs> Just gonna try without cracking it. Try and straighten it out a little. And yeah, we're just gonna put that right there. Oh, that's cute. Okay. And I don't. Again, I don't want to cover up any of the back of the tag. So we'll just these on there. Alrighty. It's like that. Oh, isn't that cute? That's really cute. I need a little more grunge right there. Okay, so we'll pop that into there, like that. We've got this one already. I mean, we could put something on there if we so desire. What do you think? I wish you guys, I wish I could hear you. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. I don't know where, but I'd love to use that in here. I do kind of like that door there. I think we're gonna put that door there. Bend it once again. Well, in case you were going to ask, no, the carpenter didn't come for the deck today. <laughs> I 
I'm filming this the Monday after New Year's though, so I'm thinking maybe it's a holiday. I don't know. We haven't heard from the contractor as to where our guy's been. So I don't know. Mike said we'd give it till noon tomorrow and then we'll, well, we're going to send an email requesting a meeting. And just say, gosh, <laughs> when are we, when, when is our job going to be a priority? Oh gosh, but, but yeah, so we're getting a little bit to where we're almost complacent about it. It's like, ah, yeah, he didn't come again. <laughs> okay, so I could, I'm thinking maybe I'll use some of these in these pockets just because they're cool and I want to use them. You know what? I'm going to put that in there because I want the paintbrushes to show. Look how pretty that is. Okay. And then... Ooh, that will fit in because it's not glued right there. That's cool too. Okay. Ooh, what fun. All right, now... Okay, we have this that needs two little somethings in it. Tags are going to be too big. Um, you know, a little journal card would be nice. I was noticing this one page. It's not journal cards per se. This. But kind of. I wonder if I could use something there. Again, in the spirit of using this pack, um, I'm thinking, okay, let's, I want this middle one, and I think I want that one. So, gotta, gotta do some cutting here. Okay. Okay. And then this one. I only I only want to go down to here because I don't want to cut into this other big piece. Which actually I think I can cut that this way. Yes. Now I can cut it all the way. Okay. And then I'm just going to use the cutter since I've got it out. Cut that off there. So I, I think this piece, yes, is going to fit perfectly. actually also got you know these other pieces to use too um, I wanted to cut this one in Ooh, that strip is cool though okay let's do this might use that somewhere And then those cards somewhere. And then I have one more. Okay, so all those pieces could be journal cards. How we doing? We have about 15 minutes left, but I think these are gonna be good in here. Yes. Cause see, I didn't wanna cover up the other, 
Okay, maybe this one up here. Mm hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, I just have to destroy some. And one could write on the back. It's painty and splotchy, but one could. If one wanted. Ooh, that's pretty distressed. Okay. You go in there. And you. And then there's a side, isn't there? So I wonder if one of these bigger ones would go in the side. And I really like this. This is just, it, it's so different, you know, than what I normally do that it's really, it's really been fun. Okay, so what if I put that in there? That's actually a perfect size. And we're using good pieces of the of the um, paper collection too, so that's good. Okay, so that's gonna go there. And, oh, we are to this guy. So, we need something kind of long to go in there. Oh, it's kind of painted shut. Let's see. Oops. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Maybe if I... I'm going to have to patch this kind of, I think, because I painted it shut. Or we just leave it grubby. I think that's okay too. Okay, so I have a thought for that, which is another piece of the paper. I'll move those for the minute. I was noticing on this page these. So maybe we go ahead and cut that. And obviously we're going to have to cut a couple off, but right about there. I think if we cut it right under the notes there that that should that should work bit tall. I think what I might do is cut along this line. And that should make it just about right. Okay. I thought about putting something on that sack, but the other side is for writing on so I don't want to make it so it's all lumpy bumpy for writing on either so I'm 
Okay. So that's going to go in there. But the other side of this. Yeah, that's just kind of fun. Okay. Well, that fits in there okay, which is good. And this needs something, boom, over there. Um, I thought I had more flowers somewhere. I'm making a mess over here. Okay, well... That's not it. <laughs> not it, not it. Here they are. Is that too wide? Might be a little too wide. Maybe not if I cut it down to the frame. And I could I could cut the frame a little shorter too. This would be a fun journal to give to the artist in your life, wouldn't it? Or for your own self, if you're an artist. Oh, look, it's just it's ever so tiny bit. But I want to use it. So I think I'm just going to cut... I'm going to cut down this light part of the frame... And just leave the dark because I think that will be enough, hopefully. Gosh, I'm finally warming up. I'm not hot though. I mean, I'm just starting to warm up here. Okay, please fit. Yes. Okay, that's good. I'll keep all these little strips. Looks like I need to give this a little. Okay. Get this one in there, and then I better check my time again, huh? Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, we're to this one. We're getting there. Got about five minutes is all, though. Um, we're back to needing, needing a cup. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we are really getting there. I might be able to finish this after doing Marguerite Miller tomorrow. I think that's what we might do. Mm-hmm. I think so. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end it here. I'm going to make a plan for this and make a plan for how to, you know, what little tags to use for that. So, not a bad day's work. Yay. So, yeah, this is, it's getting nice and round. I love, love me a round journal. And then I need to think about what, I'll probably just put, um, I might just put an elastic band on this one. I'm not sure. Okay, my people. I think we'll call this a video. But thank you so much for crafting with me today. I hope you have a grateful day. And we will just see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.